Hello everyone, we are here at the State Academy Day number 8 and uh, with me is Tomas from Dabarti. So to get started, make a short introduction who you are and what is Dabarti all about. So my name is Tomasz Wyszomirski and I run this small production studio in Poland. But what makes us kind of unique is that it's supported mainly by stock, micro stock production. We create simple short clips for sale for anything and it's royalty free so if someone buys it he can use it at any kind of project it's quite interesting and also it supports us for uh, as a in passive income that's uh, interesting so um, do you have first thing I would like to ask is do you have uh, commission projects beside that stock business and specifically about the stock business, um, how does it work exactly in terms of you know, creative ideas to create those short clips? Uh, where do you get inspiration from and uh, how do you know which one would you know, uh, sell best? You know? So a little bit about that. This is actually the part that uh, I did not understand when I started. And uh, it's the most tricky part to know what sells because the agencies you work with, they give you hints at what is good, what's not but they will never directly tell you what will be selling in the next couple of years. So uh, what worked for me is just producing a lot of different content, like trying different ideas, seeing what kind of shots work and which subjects are popular. And uh, at this point when, where we have around 3,000 videos, I have a pretty good feel what's, uh, what's a good clip, what's not. And uh, about this creativity questions, it, it, it's actually most fun part of this uh, this business because we can create whatever we want. If we feel like creating some um, some bugs in the forest, like the artwork we did, we can do this. If we want to experiment with some uh, animations on on Mars, this is also an opportunity, which is uh, quite lovely to work for artists in the studio. Um, so you're uh, based on GPU technology in terms of rendering, you mentioned that in your uh, talk, so for those that didn't get a chance to be here and listen to it, can you tell us how did you get started with GPU and why is it so essential to your current process? I started because I needed to produce more videos. I wanted to, I didn't want to expand the studio to have a big office uh, with many machines and I honestly couldn't afford it at that point. So I looked for different uh, different ways to do it. And after testing VRT and seeing how faster it will be on our shots, and I just decided to go full GPU production. We just switched VA uh, Advanced to VRT and then went back at this point. It was like three years ago, so also what is interesting, like over these three years, the engine developed so crazy much. Like I didn't see any engine at the same time adding so many features that are such amazing, like adaptive lights or super optimized textures. This helped us with the recent artworks and uh, with basically making the most of the engine, the hardware we have in the office. Um. How big is the team and also what's the usual time span that it takes you to produce a short film for that stock uh, business? This depends. When initially I, I put a deadline of three hours per video, I told myself if I will make it work, I have to create a lot of videos. So three hours seems like reasonable time. It was like daily, daily video challenge I did every day. So uh, before I started hiring people, I had like 700 videos created on basically one machine. And uh, um, I would say now it takes per, per subject around one month, but we generate many, many videos and uh, different kind of approaches. And it depends on the artist because I'm not really pushing um, people to finish it in a certain deadline because junior artists may need some more time to experiment and learn. And it's different for senior artists. Also, it's, it depends. It's not really one answer for these questions. And um, 
you've, you've shown us some tools that were developed uh, at the Bardi, uh, like the light assistant and the, the Bardi capture. Um, tell us a little about, about the thought process that goes on uh, in the creation of such a tool. What drives you to create it? How do you create it? And if you have any additional things uh, like in the pipeline that's going to come out in the future. Nothing is planned for the future, but about the stores, it's usually starting with with a problem we have internally because uh, I'm more of the an artist than coder. But when I see a problem that can be solved with coding something, I I, I go for it because it saves ultimately a lot of time. And so tools like Light Assistant helps me with setting up the lights interactively with VART, and the tools like the Body Capture it solves my like obsession with leaves. I had this I need to create really detailed plants for quite sal such a long time. And we did experiment with some photogrammetry. Actually, um, Bertrand Benoit posted very nice tutorial intro to photogrammetry. We started with this, played uh, around with some objects. We tried leaves, but it was not good quality. Like You couldn't really go as close as we do with our artworks. So I ended up looking for different solutions and found this technique called photometric stereo, which exists 30 years now. It's not something new. People used it, companies used it internally for uh, capturing different textures, but there was not available tool for anyone. So I just made it. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, last thing I would like to know is um, uh, how big is your team right now? Four people. So, do you plan to expand this? So, okay. So, if you look for someone to join the studio, what are the three things that are most important in any candidate before he approaches? What what things should they present to capture your attention? Good images. That's most important. I also like good modeling skills because I, I think it's very important in production, especially today when like. What Andrea showed that UV is very important still. You're not going away from it. So the same goes for good topology. And so good modeling skill and nice eye for, for the light and shots is the most important part for me. Okay, thank you very much, Thomas. Uh, and we'll see you in the next interview.